gonna go ahead and gather our supplies. We need a palette, natural acrylic medium, natural earth pigment. We're gonna be using ultramarine blue, but you can use any color you choose. You're gonna need a palette knife to mix the two together. Some kind of paintbrush. We're gonna be using a bamboo paintbrush. We're gonna be using an aluminum tube for storage. And if you're using an aluminum tube, you'll need a pair of pliers or something to crimp the tube with. Go ahead and open your natural acrylic medium and put that onto the palette. However much medium you use is how much paint you want. The more medium, the more paint. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some of that off there. I don't wanna waste any. Your palette knife is gonna be very helpful for scooping some out of the container and onto the palette and off the sides if any drips a little bit. Let's go ahead and put some of your pigment into the medium. If you use less pigment, your paint will be more translucent. If you use more pigment, your paint will be less translucent and also more vibrant. So go ahead and mix that really well in there. You really wanna mix that pigment out. Your paint will be more even, and the color will be evenly dispersed. If you feel like your paint is mixed enough, go ahead and scoop that into the aluminum tube. Wipe off any excess paint, and make sure to be tapping your tube occasionally to get any air bubbles out. The less air, the better. The less air there is, your paint will stay fresh longer. So you want to create a line, some kind of crease, where your paint ends. You can use a ruler, or you can even use your palette knife to help you do this. The aluminum is very easily bendable. We're going to need a flat in the back of our paint tube pushing the paint towards the front of the tube. This also helps get the air out and flattens it so we can get a good seal. You can use your palette knife to do this or anything that'll help you flatten it. We're gonna need to bend the back of the tube just a little bit. This will help start our seal. You can use your hands for this or you can use a palette knife to help you. We're gonna need to crimp the back to fully flatten it. and you want to do this for each roll. Wipe off any excess paint there is too to help you keep it clean. So we're just going to keep crimping here. This will make the seal very great and it will help keep our paint fresh. test out some of the paint so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to use some that's on the palette because I don't want to waste any. I'm just going to draw a little flower here. So as you can see, our paint is pretty translucent. That is because of the amount of pigment we added. So I'm going to go ahead and mix in a little more pigment with this paint. That way you can see what it looks like if you want a darker paint and a less translucent paint. Let's go ahead and mix that in really well there. So you can test your paint in the original process of mixing if you want to see what the color will be like. Just do the same thing here, but do it in the beginning. Or you can mix a tube of paint and add a little pigment each time you paint. As you can see, the color is much darker. It's also a lot less translucent. I'm gonna draw a little bit on the flower so you can see comparatively. So it all depends on what you're going for. We're gonna label our paint tube. You don't have to, but I highly suggest it. That way you remember what colors you made.
there you have it. Don't forget to clean up with soap and water. The longer you wait, the harder it will be to clean the paint off your supplies. Go to naturalearthpaint.com for products, recipes, and more tutorials.